Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping warm and well as we approach the heart of winter. As we stand here on November 29, 2025, many of you across the United Kingdom are probably wondering what this winter has in store. The days are getting shorter, the air is crisp, and there's a sense of anticipation in the air. Will we see snow this year, or will it be another gray, rainy season? British winters are famously unpredictable. One year it's mild, the next you're shoveling snow. Sometimes we get a taste of both in the same season, keeping everyone guessing and making winter planning a real challenge. This year though, the forecast is pointing to a real tale of two halves. Meteorologists are seeing patterns that suggest a significant shift in weather as the season progresses, and it's not just a matter of a few chilly days here and there. We're expecting a familiar mild start, with temperatures staying above average, and only the occasional frost. But don't get too comfortable, because as we head into the new year, a dramatic flip is on the horizon. The weather models are hinting at a much colder, snowier period, and it could catch many by surprise. What's different this time is the potential for a sustained cold spell, lasting weeks, not just days, especially in January and February. This isn't just a quick cold snap, it's a pattern that could bring persistent wintry conditions to much of the country. This isn't just another beast from the east cold snap, it could feel more like the prolonged chill of 2010, when snow and ice lingered for weeks, disrupting travel, schools, and daily routines. For many it will bring back memories of that remarkable winter, when the UK was transformed into a snowy wonderland. Preparation is key, knowing what's coming lets you get ready before the first snow or freeze. Whether it's making sure your home is insulated, stocking up on essentials, or simply planning your travel, a little foresight can make all the difference. It's also a good time to check in on neighbors and loved ones, especially those who might need extra help during a cold snap. Over the next few scenes, we'll break down the forecast, explain the science behind these dramatic shifts, and give you practical tips to prepare for this winter of two halves. From understanding the latest weather models to learning how to stay safe and comfortable, we've got you covered. Let's dive in and see what makes this year's winter truly special. Let's begin with December, a month that, for much of the UK, feels more like an extended soggy autumn than the crisp cold winter many expect. Instead of snowflakes and icy mornings, most people will wake up to the sound of rain tapping on their windows and the sight of puddles gathering on the streets. The air will feel damp, and the skies will be painted in endless shades of grey. Persistent southwesterly winds will dominate the weather pattern, sweeping in mild, moisture-laden air from the Atlantic Ocean. This means, the UK will be under a blanket of cloud for much of the time, with frequent spells of rain and drizzle. Temperatures will be noticeably higher than average for this time of year, making it feel more like late October than the start of winter. In England and Wales, especially across the southeast, daytime highs could regularly reach into the double digits, think 10 or even 12 degrees Celsius. That's quite a contrast to the frosty Decembers of years past, and it means you might not need your thickest coat just yet. Scotland and Northern Ireland will be a bit cooler, but even here, true winter conditions will be hard to find at lower elevations. Snow will mostly cling to the highest mountain peaks, while the rest of the region deals with chilly rain, mist, and damp winds. The main hazard for most, persistent, sometimes heavy rain. With the ground already saturated from previous wet spells, the risk of localized flooding increases, especially in low-lying areas and near rivers. Fields may become waterlogged, and some rural roads could see standing water, so it's wise to stay alert if you're traveling through the Thassenbrunn and Trasen. For drivers, the main challenges will be poor visibility, slippery surfaces, and road spray from passing vehicles. While major winter travel disruption is unlikely, it's still important to drive with caution and allow extra time for journeys during heavy downpours. On the upside, the mild temperatures mean you might not need to crank up the heating as much as usual. That could translate to lower energy bills and a more comfortable start to the winter season for many households. So, enjoy the gentle start to December. Take advantage of the milder weather for walks, easy commutes, and perhaps even a few outdoor activities. But don't get too comfortable. The atmosphere is restless, and the real winter drama is just around the corner. Don't be lulled into complacency. The story is about to change, and the next chapter could bring a very different kind of weather. January is where winter truly arrives. The month will start with a battle between lingering mild Atlantic air and much colder air pushing in from the north, 
Expect rapid weather changes, rain one day, sleet or snow the next as cold air winds out. By mid-January, high pressure to the north will block Atlantic winds, opening the door for Arctic or Eastern European cold. Widespread frosts and icy mornings will become the norm, with snow risks increasing everywhere, not just in the hills. Northerly winds bring bitter cold and snow showers, especially to northern and eastern coasts. Easterlies could mean even more persistent cold. Travel disruption is likely check forecasts daily and reconsider non-essential journeys. January will demand respect and preparation. This is when winter bites back. Get ready for a real test of winter resilience. February is set to be the coldest month, with the high-pressure block to the north locking in frigid continental air. Temperatures will struggle to rise above freezing, especially in the north and east, and wind chill will make it feel even colder. Hard frosts will be nightly, and the ground could stay frozen for days. Snow will be a major feature, especially along the east coast from Scotland to Norfolk, with frequent showers and possible heavy accumulations. If Atlantic fronts meet this cold air, expect major snow events, even in the Midlands and Wales. London and the South aren't immune. Persistent cold means any precipitation could turn to snow, causing disruption, hazards, relentless cold, icy roads and frozen pipes. Patience, resilience and a good supply of hot drinks will be essential. February will test everyone's winter readiness. Why the dramatic shift from mild to frigid? It all comes down to the jet stream, a fast-moving river of air high above us. When the jet stream is strong and straight, it brings mild, wet Atlantic air, like we'll see in December. But when it weakens and meanders, it lets cold Arctic air plunge south, setting up high pressure to our north and locking in the cold. This pattern is linked to a negative North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO. Meteorologists are also watching for sudden stratospheric warming events, which can disrupt the jet stream and trigger prolonged cold spells. These large-scale drivers are the engine behind our winter's two halves. Understanding them helps explain why this winter could be so memorable. This winter, the entire UK will experience a season of two distinct halves, but the specifics will vary greatly depending on where you call home. From the far north to the southern coast, each region faces its own unique set of challenges and surprises as the weather unfolds. In Scotland December starts off relatively mild, offering a brief respite before the real winter sets in. As January and February arrive, frequent and sometimes intense snowfalls are expected, especially in the highlands and across eastern areas. Rural communities and towns alike should brace for periods of heavy snow, icy roads, and the kind of winter scenes that can bring both beauty and disruption. For those living in the north, winter's grip will be firm and persistent. Northern England will see a wet and unsettled December, with rain dominating the early weeks. But as the new year begins, a sharp transition is on the cards. Cold air sweeps in, and snow becomes a real threat, particularly for the Pennines and the exposed northeast coast. These areas could see significant accumulations, making travel and daily life more challenging. In Wales and the Midlands the season starts gently, but don't be fooled. This region becomes a battleground as moist Atlantic air collides with cold easterly winds. The result? Heavy disruptive snowfalls are likely, especially in upland areas and where weather fronts stall. Communities here should be ready for sudden changes and potentially hazardous conditions. Cities like Birmingham and Cardiff, as well as the Welsh mountains, should prepare for rapid shifts from rain to snow. One moment, streets may be wet and gray, the next, blanketed in white. These quick transitions can catch people off guard, so staying alert to forecasts is crucial. London and the South will likely enjoy the mildest December in the country, with only occasional frosts. But don't get too comfortable. By February, hard frosts and even snow could make an appearance, reaching into the heart of the capital and across the southern countryside. The contrast between early and late winter will be striking. In the densely populated southeast, even a few centimeters of snow can cause widespread disruption. Roads, railways, and daily routines may be thrown into chaos, as the region is less accustomed to dealing with wintry hazards. No part of the UK is immune. Cold snaps, icy mornings and snowfalls will touch every region at some point. Whether you live in a city or the countryside, it's wise to prepare for slippery roads, frozen pavements, and the challenges that winter weather brings. The key to getting through winter safely is knowing your local risks and planning ahead. 
check forecasts regularly, stock up on essentials, and make sure your home and car are ready for whatever the season throws your way. One thing's for certain, this winter, the weather will make its presence felt everywhere, reminding us all of the power and unpredictability of the season. With a deep freeze on the way, prepping your home is crucial. Insulate pipes in unheated areas. Burst pipes can cause thousands in damage. Know where your main water stopcock is and make sure it works. If you're away, set your heating to a low, constant temperature to prevent freezing. Block drafts around windows and doors and use thick curtains to keep warmth in. Consider a chimney balloon if you have an unused fireplace. Stock up on torches, batteries, blankets, and non-perishable food in case of power cuts. A little preparation now means comfort and safety later. Don't wait for the first snow. Get ready while it's mild. Your future self will thank you. Roads are the first to feel winter's impact. Get your car ready now. Check tire tread, aim for at least 3 meters, and pressure. Consider winter tires if you're in a snowy area. Top up antifreeze and screen wash with winter grade fluid. Make sure your battery is healthy. Cold weather is tough on it. Pack a winter emergency kit, blanket, snacks, water, torch, high-vis vest, phone charger, ice scraper, and a small shovel. Before any journey, ask, is it necessary? If so, allow extra time and drive slowly. Increase following distance, brake and accelerate gently, and watch for black ice. Listen to travel updates and be ready to turn back if conditions worsen. Changing your driving mindset is as important as prepping your car. Stay safe. Don't let winter catch you off guard. Smart preparation can make all the difference. To sum up, expect a mild, wet December then brace for a sharp turn to cold ice and snow in January and February. Prepare your home, insulate pipes block drafts and stock emergency supplies, ready your car, check tires fluids and pack a winter kit, dress in layers with hat scarf, and gloves to keep warm outside. Keep your main living space heated and eat regular hot meals. Look out for vulnerable neighbors, check and help with shopping and clear snow if you can. Community matters most during tough winters. A little effort now means safety and peace of mind when the cold hits. This winter will be memorable. Face it prepared and you'll stay safe, warm, and comfortable. Stay safe everyone.